top three things in my notebook this morning. Number one is Europe. Number two is gold. And number three is our favorite stock market, India. So first on Europe, you know, I guess they're trying to tell you now that bad news is good. Remember that, the 2011 bad news is good trade? Uh, bad news in both the U.S. retail sales numbers and European GDP numbers this morning is good, right? you got to buy them, right? No, we're not going to tell you to buy them. So on the bounce. So, again, that's what they're doing intraday. When I got up this morning or when I was watching the reaction to the retail sales numbers yesterday, the initial reaction is correct. The, the, the bounce, I guess, you, you, you either buy them or you don't. I mean, I'm, I'm going to tell you, don't buy them. Don't buy them. Don't buy European equities. Don't buy U.S. equities. Buy yourself some long bonds and buy yourself some gold and buy yourself some India, which I'll hit on in a second. Now, gold is interesting here, uh, if only because it has not yet broken out above its 1323 line. Now, 1323 is a long-term breakout line for gold, of course. The trend line has held at 1271. It remains on the hedge eye investing ideas list, best ideas list, too. Uh, again, this, is, this thing continues to perform when you need it to, up 9.5% for the year to date with the Russell. 2000 down 2%. Uh, we want you to stay with long gold on pullbacks, which would include uh, this morning's little bit of a whip around. So, again, keep adding to gold on the long side. And finally, India just acts fantastic. No matter what's happening in Europe, no matter what's happening in the U.S., no matter what's happening with buy it because it's bad news in the U.S. and in Europe, you buy Asia, you buy China, and you buy India. That's our call. We're sticking to it. India, they're really testing uh, year to date highs this morning up a half a percent. Up 25.1% for the year to date. Dairy sale has done a fantastic job on the research side of this. Uh, India reported a wholesale price inflation number that was lower again sequentially month over month, down to 5.2% uh, for the month of July, which is, of course, what Dr. Raj is ordering up. Stronger interest rates, stronger purchasing power for the people, stronger India, and that's why we like India. So those are your top three things.